Hello everyone, welcome to VBA Advanced. In this video, I am going to talk about how to use progress bar in VBA model. Uh, you have seen this bar whenever you are installing some new software, there is a bar saying uh, setup is complete 20%, 40%, 50% and so on. So how can we use this? And this is very useful when you are running a long macro uh, that takes some time, say 15-20 minutes and you have uh, uh, turned off the screen updating or you have uh, and you have hidden the Excel application so you can't see anything but the user form and you don't know if Excel is working or not, then this is very useful. So let's go and open our Excel. So I am talking about this form. You can see this and we see this when there is a software installation going on. So you can have a look at, at this again. So I'm going to discuss how to develop this. Done. So let's let me get out of your way and let's go to screen number two or even this is fine. And let's go to Visual Basic and insert a new user form. On this is user form number two on and on this user form. Let's insert a label. Where is the label? This is the label. So we have this label. And this label has some properties. Let's adjust some properties. Where are the properties? You can see the properties. Yes. Let's change the four color. No, the background color. So instead of having this gray, Let's have this blue. So this is the label. All I am going to do, going to do insert a module and say sub the uh, progress test. This is our macro. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say user form two dot and what was that? This was label one. Where is our code? Dot label one dot width. Yeah, this is simple. It's the width is equal to let's say 10. And then let's say user form What I'm doing from two dot show. That's it. So let's run this. So you can see this is the label number label, and this is a very thin label. Let's close this and remove this label one. Let's remove the caption to where is the caption of this? CCC here it is label one. Let's delete this. There's no caption. This is only this, and let's run this so where is our code here is the code now instead of 10 let's say 30 this is a bit wide next time let's make it 100 so you are getting it this is way how to move your bar all you need to do is use this use this bar use the width of this bar to give the impression that the bar is increasing so let me all right so uh, let's go to our module and have this user width multiple times so let's show this and let's start from 10 then go to 20 then go to 30 then go to 
40 then we can have 50 then we can have 60 so uh, and then between these changes let's have a pause of one second application dot wait and wait for now plus time value time value and you should be knowing this by heart now i i can understand so this is our code so let's copy this and after every every change we have this okay and after that once we reach 60 and let's give it a one second break and then user form two dot hide okay so let's run this now here it is and there is no change why there is no change think about it there is no change why is that if i close this then you can see that this this is the waiting icon on the screen and then there the macro ends what is actually happening is when you form when the user form pop-ups it stops there it wants you to close the user form nothing is happening once it is there you need to close your user form and in the last video i talked about how we can work keep working when there still there is a user form and that was which property yes we talked about it that was the model property of the user form so if i turn model property i hope you can see this to false and done then run my macro let's see what happens now this is stuck again oh it's not working oh what happened let's go to visual basic and let's run this macro this is better let's run this we have this user form it is 10 then 20 then 30 then 40 then 50 then 60 and it hides what if i run this like this i cannot see the changes why is that application dot screen updating is equal to true i hope this is true always so let's run this now still it's not working let me pause and find out why it's not working all right i am able to find why this was not working and that was uh, because just just like we have calculated then there is an updating uh, command for visual basic for application and that is do events and we have to use that so instead of repeating it again and again let's make it simple let's get rid of this and let's use for my loop is equal to uh, 1 to 100 right and next we my loop and let's use this width and this should be equal to the my loop and we have to use two events let me zoom it a bit so you can see code so this is visible okay okay let me correct it so let's delete this all so 
what I'm doing, I'm showing user from one, then there is a loop, and in the loop, I am changing the width, and then I say do events. Do events is the command that will update the user form. Next, and then after one it reaches 100, it should hide. So let's run this now and see if this command works or not. Oh, this was too quick. This was too quick. So let's add the application dot wait because there is no execution. So this is uh, very quick. If you are running an actual macro, the commands will take some time. So you can uh, run this without using this wait command. Now plus time value. And then we have zero column zero column zero one and this should be inverted commas. I hope there is no error, no error. So there is a weight added and we don't want uh, one addition, we want ten ten addition. So let's run this now. Go, 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 go. Perfect. So now this is how our um, progress bar works i hope this will this is helpful for you and um, uh, we can take it to oh yes what if i uh, say this is 2000 and the step is 100 so let's run this so you will be you should be very critical about it you see so this will go till the end of the user form you have to calculate how many uh, what what should be the width of your uh, label before you execute it. It's not always be 100, it's not always be 2000. It will be according to the image size or the user form size and the label size you have designed. So you have to take care of the width. So this is, this is how you can get this percentage progress in your application, in your macro, whenever you are executing your macro. And the, it, and the important thing was not only the code, uh, how we use the width, the important thing was the model property of the user form, which helps uh, application to perform other tasks while the user form is displayed. So do remember this show model property. You can't see this. Ah, my bad. Again. I hope you can see this where it is. This show model, this is the last one. So you can change this to true and uh, to false. Once it is false, uh, when the user form pops up, you can still keep on working and the code keeps on executing. Uh, if you find this tip helpful, think about giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have questions, leave your questions in, in the comments. I will be responding to them.